Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are back with a little bit of a haul from a brand that I have not talked about on this channel for quite some time and that is Abercrombie & Fitch, which I believe was really the it girl brand of 2023. People absolutely loved them, especially the jeans, the dresses, the bodysuits, and we have some of all of those to look at today. But with Christmas right around the corner, the thing that I really want to focus on is is sales. I know that Abercrombie tends to have very good sales, which is good because their regular prices are kind of high. So I am thinking that we're going to be seeing at least like 30 to 45% off for Boxing Day sales after Christmas for Abercrombie and Fitch. So definitely keep your eye out for that. If there is a discount code that ends up working like stackable on top of their Boxing Day sale, I will share that down in the comment section. So be sure to come back if you want to see that around Boxing day. And before we get into looking at all of the different Abercrombie & Fitch pieces, I do have a few pieces of jewelry to share with you from Anna Luisa New York, which this was my first time ever trying them. They were nice enough to gift me a few pieces and I think that they are very, very beautiful. So I'm happy to share them with you. And the first piece I got is this stunning little rose motif necklace that is made with like a mother of pearl effect on gold. And I feel like it is so, so beautiful. And I I absolutely love like motif style necklaces. I think that they look really good. I also got this gorgeous dainty little flower mother of pearl necklace along with a few pairs of earrings and I really like how they send you the jewelry. It does come in this little bag that has magnetic clasps. In this case I got these gorgeous little earrings that are mismatched with moons and stars. I think they will be absolutely beautiful. And these puffy heart hoops which I think are absolutely gorgeous and just a perfect little everyday earring. Now Anna Luisa's end of year sale is coming up starting on December 21st and running until January 3rd where they'll have up to 70% off select styles and then 30% off absolutely everything. So it's a great time to pick up a couple of new jewelry pieces. Maybe you didn't quite get that new pair of earrings that you wanted for Christmas. You can pick them up for yourself at a heavily discounted rate which is awesome. And I also think it's a really good time to start thinking about Valentine's Day gifts because you can buy it now at 30 to 70 percent off or you can wait until February and pay full price. They have styles that start as low as $39. They have free shipping across the U.S. and pretty inexpensive shipping internationally and all of their jewelry has been wear tested to make sure it will actually last you and be something that you can wear every day. They are tarnish resistant and every single piece has a two-year warranty. So if something does happen you can contact them and get it fixed up. So humongous thank you to Anna Louise. I really appreciate it. I especially love these little heart earrings. I know for a fact that I will wear these almost every single day. They fit perfectly with my style and I do also really really adore the other pieces that I got. Now if you don't love necklaces or earrings they do also have lots of other jewelry options like lots of different rings including stackable ring styles. They have bracelets. Really anything you could ask for and I will have a link to Anna Luisa down in the description box. You can go down there and check it out and I will also link the specific specific pieces that I got in case you want to see those. So humongous thanks to Anna Luisa and now let's take a look at the pieces from Abercrombie. Now the day that I was placing my order they did have a 20% off everything going on and I was able to find a 15% stackable code. It's always about the stackable codes with Abercrombie. So I was able to get quite a few things for around $300 Canadian which is pretty good for Abercrombie. As like I said in the beginning this is a pretty expensive place to shop in my opinion if you're used to shopping at like Old Navy and American Eagle there is a bit of sticker shock here and like always I will link to these specific things that I got from Abercrombie this time down in the description box and I will also include what size I got but in general I got a size medium and everything a short size or petite size if that was available and a size 10 in the jeans and this is the very first thing I got it is the Emerson puff sleeve dress now if this looks a little bit familiar to you and you've been watching my channel for a while, I tried a 
white version of this dress without the sleeves maybe a couple years ago at this point it's been a while that was the first time I had ever tried anything from Abercrombie and Fitch and I really liked it but it was way too bridal for me the white was just definitely made me look like I was getting married not like I was you know having fun in my cute little dress this is perfect to me now I got it in this very bright pink color you absolutely do not need to get it in pink they have this same style of dress in a variety of fabric choices in multiple sleeve types so like you can get sleeveless you can get it with puff sleeves you can get it with normal sleeves but the bodice part and the skirt is the same in all of them now they do always release limited edition patterns and colors of this dress once again in different fabric options depending on the season i believe for winter they released black dark green and navy in a satiny version of this dress. So if you still need a last minute party dress, no guarantees that I'll get here on time. But I do think that this style of dress is just incredibly flattering, especially if you are somebody with a bigger bust. The way that this sits, it is significantly tighter across the top, across the bodice, right down to your waist. And then it really flares out from there. So I find it incredibly flattering. I think it looks really good on me. I have pretty wide hips and I think that it flows off of them really really nicely. Now this dress does have pockets which is nice. They aren't huge or anything but it's always a plus to have a pocket in my opinion. And like I said I did get a short length wherever possible and this is one of those times so it is actually a midi on me which is nice. If you are very short you could 100% get the regular length of this dress but it is probably going to go right to your feet. It is going to be pretty long on you. They do also carry tall in a lot of their stuff at Abercrombie, which I really appreciate having short and tall options. We're not all just like standard height. Now the sleeves on this dress are beautiful. There is elastic at the bottom and I don't know if you can really see, but it is leaving a little bit of a mark. So I do think that it might get slightly annoying if you're wearing this for a super long time, but it's cute enough to me that that's worth it. In this case, I will accept that beauty is pain. Now I am not wearing a bra under here and I don't know if you really could unless you had a strapless bra that sat like quite low down. Just because of how this neckline sits I had a regular bra on but it was showing on the sides. The straps were constantly coming out so I ended up taking it out and just doing pasties. Now this is fully opaque so you don't have to worry about it being see-through or anything. It's mostly just like you aren't going to have any support and I think you kind of just have to be okay with that. Now the back of this dress is also that same square neckline that you see at the front but then it is shirred at the back. So this is stretchy and that is what is making it fit nicely at the front and be a little bit more adjustable to bigger busts. And overall I just feel like this is absolutely beautiful. I love how swishy and swayy it is. I love how it kind of poofs out from the bottom. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I would feel 100% comfortable wearing this to a wedding as a guest, wearing it on a date night to any like nice elevated event. It's very beautiful and once again if the pink color isn't for you don't give up on the dress because they have so many other colors and patterns and neutrals and wild bright colors. Really truly this dress is one of those cases where there's one for everyone. All right next up we are trying what I think is like the bread and butter of Abercrombie and & Fitch and that is their jeans. I got two different styles this time. This first style is their mom jeans. I have <laughs> really struggled with jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch. I have tried many of their Curve Love styles because I do have a significantly smaller waist than I do hip measurement, which once again, hip does not mean your hip bones. It means the widest part, which is usually around your bum. So I have had a notoriously hard time finding jeans that fit from Abercrombie. I've tried multiple different sizes of multiple styles and it always seems to be a little bit off. However, I feel like these ones actually fit pretty well. The only problem is they are a mom jean and they are kind of like that ankle length. So my question to you, do we like the ankle length or is it a little bit weird? I feel like it's just not super on trend right now, but I might be willing to look past that for a pair of jeans that actually fit pretty well. Now I will say these are still ever so slightly loose at my waist. I still do have a little bit of a gap back here, but not enough that I think it would necessarily matter or that people would be able to like see 
down it, which is usually my fear with this kind of jean. They are also very high waisted, so at least if somebody does see down it, they're not seeing like my entire butt. They fit pretty good across the bum. They're not too tight. They're not squashing my butt flat. And then they're not too tight across the front, which is usually where I run into problems. Like the bum is pulling so tight that the front looks super tight as well. They fit really comfortably. It's really just that, do we think that the ankle length looks okay? And I do have a little pair of ballet flats in here just so that we can see what they look like with shoes. I think they would look fine with sandals. I'm just nervous that with an actual shoe in the winter, in the fall, they're just going to look a little bit weird because they end so short. But like I said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I should keep them or not. They do fit pretty well. They fit pretty comfy. It might be worth it to just have one pair of like non-distressed jeans. <laughs> And I did get them on a pretty excellent sale price, so I feel okay. I think I ended up paying around $60 for them, which once again, I want to reiterate, is pretty expensive, but I think the jeans at Abercrombie are usually closer to like $110. So I felt okay about the $60 price tag if they're actually going to be good jeans, and they do feel good. They feel very, very thick. They feel pretty rigid. They don't feel like they're going to be super stretchy and just fall apart. I think that even the thigh portion will last a pretty long time because they're not super stretchy. So like I said, let me know what you think. And then next up we have this sweater and I would be lying to you if I said that this wasn't a big reason that pushed me to click check out on this order. I feel like this sweater is so freaking cute. It has this really beautiful little blue squiggly print and then it says me, you, pasta, and wine. I was I feel like it's really cute every single time. My husband's like, where do you want to go out? And I'm like, I want pasta and a glass of wine. Like that's just very, very me. It spoke to my soul. I really love it. Let me know if you like it. Also, they had other patterns that were also like kind of this fun Italy, Italian food. They had like a cacio e pepe one that was pretty cute and like a Naples, Italy one. So definitely recommend checking them out. They are a super soft fleece on the inside and they feel like nice high quality sweaters. Once again, if you're used to shopping at like an Old Navy, the sticker shock is going to be there. But I do think that compared to an Old Navy sweater that I literally just but and I really like how it looks. This feels 10 thousand percent better on my skin. It feels so comfy and cozy and like something that I'm going to, to want to wear non-stop. So definitely recommend the sweater, but like I said, let me know how you feel about the jeans and if you think I should keep them or send them back. So same jeans for a minute, but I just threw on this little t-shirt, but it's really just like a basic white tee with the print on it and it was not expensive, plus with like the 15% off, it ended up really not being expensive. And I just really wanted to try something else with these jeans to see if I like them. And once again, I'm just not sure. I think they look really good on the bum, which I like. I just I wonder if maybe the wash is a little bit off. I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you think. And now let's try on a second pair of jeans. All right, next up, we have a sweater bodysuit, a V-neck sweater bodysuit, and the 90s high-rise jeans. These are like a relaxed fit jean. And immediately I'm noticing that somehow, even though these are in the short length, they are so much too long. Like I would just be stepping on them all day, even though those last ones are like comically short. So a little bit of inconsistency with the lengths, maybe. I'm also noticing that these ones are like comically loose at the back, which does concern me when you first put them on, especially for like more rigid jeans, if they're already that loose at the back. It definitely makes me nervous for what they're gonna look like in a few hours. So unfortunately, even though I like the wash of these ones, and I do like the more like wide leg look, I think that it looks good. These ones I think will have to go back because they just don't really fit right. <laughs> and then this bodysuit, I like it. I don't love it. I think it's just okay. I can't wear a bra with it because of how deep the V goes. I don't have a bra that goes deep enough. So I just have pasties on again. And I think that it looks 
fine, but it just makes it into something that I don't know when I would be able to actually wear it. I think most events and things that I go to, I usually either need a bra or I need a dress or something. Like I'm not gonna wear like a super low cut V-neck to anything except for maybe like a date night or getting drinks with friends. And I feel like I have cuter options for both of those. So unfortunately I do think that this is a little bit of a bust for me. I think if you love a super low V-neck, this might be good for you and you don't feel like you need to wear a bra. <laughs> That's probably also when it would be good for you. But I get a lot of headaches and neck pain when I don't wear a bra. So this probably isn't gonna work for me, unfortunately. And with that, those are all the things that I got from Abercrombie this time. Obviously some very clear winners, the dress and that sweater being like the two major, oh my God, I love them. Well, let me know how you feel about those mom jeans. I think I'm getting to a point where I just need to get over like having trendy or on style jeans. I just need non-distressed jeans in general because there are times when I'm like, yeah, jeans would look great with this outfit, but I only have these four year old ones with giant rips in them. And it's just not what I want to look like all the time. Like if I want a more elevated outfit with jeans. So definitely let me know. I would love to know your thoughts and like how you feel about them. I would also love to know in general, when you go to Abercrombie and Fitch, like how are you finding that the jeans fit? Is there something specific that's like your go-to thing that you love from there. I'm definitely like a newer Abercrombie and Fitch shopper. I've only shopped there three times and I have some things from them that I absolutely love. A couple body suits. I got a scarf that is like one of my favorite scarves of all time. But the jeans for me remain an enigma and I do not live close enough to like go to one and try them on in store. Maybe someday I'll have to take like a special trip to Toronto to try them on. But for now we have the couple of pairs that I ordered from online. Now something I I should have mentioned in the beginning and I will add this as a chapter for people that are interested. Returns at Abercrombie and Fitch are atrocious, at least online returns. Like I just mentioned, I don't live near a store. I have to return them online. They charge you a restocking fee, which annoys me to no end. And they also take months, months to give you your money back. And that's after you hound them for months. In the initial email, when you start sending your stuff back, it will say, oh yeah, expect to be paid back within like two or three weeks or something. So the first time I waited four weeks and then emailed them to say, hey, I never received my return. What's going on? And they tried to say that they never received it. What happens is when you ship your Abercrombie and Fitch return back, you get a tracking number and it says, yep, it's been delivered within like two or three days by Canada Post, but Abercrombie and Fitch hasn't received it. Some random warehouse has. And then it has to go from that warehouse across the border to Abercrombie and Fitch returns somewhere in the US. And somewhere along that line, your order can be lost, it can be delayed, they might get it and then not like do anything with it for a while. So it can take quite literally months and you will have to argue with them almost certainly to get your money back. Plus, if they haven't received it and processed it within 30 days, which they won't, they try and give you a gift card back instead of putting the money back on your credit card. So I always recommend like, start a support chat at the two or three week mark and say, hey, I submitted this return, just want an update. And make sure you say in that what day you shipped it and what day you received it so they know you shipped it well within the time frame. Like I received these pieces, I think three days ago, and I will probably try and do this return today to give it the most possible time to get back and get my money back <laughs> to my original form of payment. So it is a little bit of a toss up. It's a little bit messy. Just keep that in mind if you are planning to place an order. I know that that's really annoying, but it is what it is. If you live close enough to an Abercrombie store, do yourself a favor and just pack it all up in a bag and bring it with you to the mall to return it. Way better idea, it'll be way faster. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. And I do also once again want to give a huge shout out to Anna Luisa New York for gifting me these gorgeous little pieces of jewelry. I really, really appreciate them. And once again, I will have that link for you to shop Anna Luisa down in the description box. And with that, 
I hope that you have a fabulous Christmas. I will see you again next week. I do have plans to post next week. I'm trying to get everything done this week so I can just kind of click post and then reply to comments. Do the fun part, not the work part of posting videos. So I will see you next week. But like always, I hope that you have a fabulous week. I hope you have a fabulous Christmas if you celebrate a nice little holiday perhaps, if you still get it off work even if you don't celebrate. And I hope that I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.